If you do not write your own narrative, then history will write you off. So it's platforms like these where we get spaces of truly be who we are and wanting to make sure that we give voice to those who can't voice themselves. But it's also a really critical thing to sit down and strategize with people within your own space. And the think tanks afford that. You know, they afford time for queer persons within a denomination to meet outside of their denominational spaces. I've been in Zion Church since I was very young. African independent churches have their own perceptions about women's body, male's body, how they should function and how they should be conducted. The I Am workshop for me was about empowering myself with knowledge that I didn't even know existed. The way um, the pastors or people in the church interpret the Bible, it's, it's a linear way. From I Am I learned that there's no one way to interpret the Bible and it must be contextual. Now I can see beyond the text beyond the person that is speaking. Because faith spaces are supposed to be a safe space where everybody can be free and feel safe and welcome. It left me emotional. At the end of it, it, it really left me questioning. But I feel like it helped me realize that we are all created in the image of God. And I kind of also understand my body as a female. Like I'm reviving myself, I'm reconnected, I'm me, and I can feel it like there's a fire that is burning and I'm like looking forward to meet the world. I want to thank I am, you know, like I'm like right now I'm becoming emotional. It's actually the tears of happiness, the wonderful work that they do.